let's start adding some lower thirds into our edit because you're not really a real YouTuber unless you've added lower thirds into your edit. There are two different ways that we can add lower thirds. There's a simple way with the essential graphics, just like we added our text title where we just grab the basic lower thirds and we can drop it in there and then we can edit that text exactly like we edited our basic title and we can add that background if we want to and it's nice and simple and easy and then you can drag it and adjust how long you want the lower thirds of your video. So that's a first and simple way. If you get the essential graphics pack, then you can add a little bit more spice to your video. So we're gonna go into the lower thirds. So now we have a whole lot of cool options for the lower thirds, and this is completely up to you and what kind of look you would like in your video and how you want to apply. So let's go with this one. Okay, so all I wanna do is emphasize that we have proof that we've gone and done this so that other people can rely on what we're talking about. So let's drag that to exactly where we want it, and then let's edit this text. So the first thing I wanna say is we have proof, and let's say we have the t-shirt. So you can have we have the t-shirt or TubeBuddy works. Now we can change the size of the second line, and we can readjust the positions. So if our text is a little bit bigger, we might want a bit more space for it. And we can add a little bit to we have proof. Now remember, when you're doing these lower thirds, think of someone watching your video back on a cell phone and how small your video is gonna be. Can they still read this lower third? Can they make sense of it if they're watching it on a mobile device? So I always like to just increase it a little bit just to make it easier for someone to read. Let's play it back. And there's a quick and easy way to add lower thirds to your videos so you can be a serious YouTuber. 